Welcome Sagittarius. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using shadow healing, cosmic reading cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Sagittarius, what is going on? It's really interesting because right before I started this video, there was a sensation of not being able to breathe. So I just wonder if some of you need to take a really deep breath and simply breathe. Let's get into it here. Two more cards. One more card for Sagittarius. Okay. Wow. Wow and wow. Sagittarius. I want to give you a big hug and we haven't even started yet. Okay. Disapproval. Showing your dissatisfaction will not earn you any brownie points and this may be a battle not worth fighting. There is nothing to be gained but wasted energy. Have a sneaking suspicion this could be disapproval of yourself, Sagittarius. So let's look into this further. Tell me more about disapproval for Sagittarius. Interestingly enough, with all the other zodiac signs, I've read all three first. But now I feel like I need to just concentrate on this one at the moment. Disapproval. Tell me more about this. Okay, that's going flying. Right, let's have a look at this. Okay, so the first card here is Awaken. Awaken to how this is draining you. Awaken to how it is not serving you, I feel. Really go within and see how it is actually impacting you in such a negative way. Two cards for Awaken for Sagittarius, please. Change your mind. Change your mind. Yes, it's that simple, but it actually also feels like there's this whirlwind in your mind going around and around and around, and it's creating this pollution around you, which is not healthy. There's a foundation here which is not solid, and what you're thinking, what you're verbalizing, isn't helping to solidify it. It's just making everything seem absolutely chaotic and it's really 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 unhealthy for you Sagittarius you're trying to see clearly but it's just almost impossible to to do that you know and so I feel like it's a matter of coming into the center here and just going into the place which is always calm which is in this heart space Okay, which doesn't feel calm for some of you though, because some of you are hurting. Yeah, far out. Shine, shine. You know what, I feel like it's shining light on all those places that are sore for you right now and it feels like your entire being, but shining light on those is going to allow you to release them and allow the growth to happen. I feel like some of you, it's really important for you to ground yourself right now. Okay, that grounding is needed. Just to anchor yourself, okay, into something solid. So that, because some of you feel like you're going to get swept up in the whirlwind of these emotions and this chaos and this change and this mind and everything else that is going on here. Shine. Two cards for shine for Sagittarius, please. Exhaustion, yeah, doesn't surprise me. Absolutely exhausted of trying to keep everything together, trying to put everything together, trying to hold everything together, and it's just not working, eh? Sometimes it just doesn't work, and you just feel like going, oh my gosh, what is the point here? Why am I even bothering? You know? So, you know, this could be an opportunity for you to go back to the drawing board and create a new vision. 
to step out of the box, to step out of what it is that you were trying to create or the path that you were going down to kind of go, who cares if I change my mind? Who cares if I go in another direction? Who cares if I actually change the plans? Maybe they need changing. Maybe this is why nothing's working and nothing's falling into place because there's the blueprint no longer serves you in the space that you're in now. So maybe it is time to change that. And be open to that, you know. Try not to be so stuck in keeping to what was planned and, um, you know, controlling that situation. Try to be flexible, okay. The next card here is untrustworthy. Is it that you feel like you're untrustworthy if you don't go ahead with what it is that you said you would follow through with? Maybe, potentially, but let's have a read. We need to recognize that not everybody can be trusted. However, the confidence we place in our own judgment is the deepest level of trust we can experience. Yes, Sagittarius, yes. Right, so trust yourself. Trust yourself to break out of the mold and into something new, to really try something different, right? Oh, yeah, now this is getting good. This is getting good. I'm liking this energy. Untrustworthy. Two cards for untrustworthy for Sagittarius, please. Hmm, interesting. That came out for, was it a few kiss? It might have even been Scorpio. Might want to have a look at that reading. Sagittarius. Intuition and unconditional love. Or was it them two? One of those two. Anyway, doesn't matter because this is your reading. Um, yeah, follow your intuition. Let that lead the way, okay? Out of this mind because this isn't working for you. Okay, it's absolutely exhausting you and it's not happening. It's just not happening. Things need to change. Needs to change for your own sanity um, because, um, you know, it's kind of this thing of trying to do the same thing um, over and over and expecting a different result and it's, it's just not working at all. Um, so I think trusting your own judgment here um, to go in another direction is, is ultimately... Um, you pretty much having your back regardless of what anyone else says you know let people go oh but you said you're going to do this and no no that let them so what it's your life right oh. intuition two cards for intuition for Sagittarius please This is a big change. This is a huge change, actually. This could even be in a partnership. This could be you going in another direction. This could be you starting over again with a whole new clean slate. This could also be you loving yourself, right? But it, either way, I feel like it's really starting again. But this is going into this nothingness to allow your intuition to lead the way, right? Because there's kind of all this debris here and that's not helping for your intuition to be heard okay um this is also i feel like maybe self-reflection here um if you have gemini in your chart go on and have a look at the gemini reading um i don't remember what was in that honestly but have a look it's just i'm being told to tell you that um but yeah this is really going with in within into the space, into the nothingness to tap into this intuition, okay? Um, it is time for self-reflection to see what it is, what is working for you and what is not. And by doing that is how we actually love ourselves unconditionally, okay? Tapping into this heart space. This is going to allow your mind, heart and spirit to connect all in together, right? The Trinity. It's going to allow this to happen. And um, yeah, I feel like this is going to allow you to see how you can do things differently and move in a different way. Move through your journey of this life in a different way here, Sagittarius. Okay, so two cards for unconditional love. 
Wow, two cards like that, just like that. Wow. Wow. This is you mastering yourself. This is you tapping into the master of who you are. Right, this is you not buying into the projections. Either that you are sending out to other people or other people are sending out to you. This is a couple here who are, are not on the same page. They are wearing masks for the rest of the world. And inside, they are getting eaten alive. See, look. This is the appearance given. But this is what is really going on here. That is not healthy. And I feel like Sagittarius are really... Uh, Sagittarius, sorry. Getting carried away. I'm trying to get everything out at once. Just hold my horses, hold my horses. You know, it really is about you being honest with yourself here, which can be very difficult to do. It takes a lot of courage. But when you are, it's kind of a relief because it's sort of like trying to wear a jacket that no longer fits. It's not the right size. It's not the right color. It's not serving you. You're squeezing into it. And it's like, oh my God, I can't even move anymore. I can't be myself. This is about you allowing yourself to unleash the master who that you truly are, to unleash, unleash this authentic part of yourself. Because at the moment, for whatever reason, whether it's a relationship, either with another person, and that could be in work, it could be a relationship with a co-worker, it could be a relationship with a family member, it could even be a relationship on a spiritual level um, with, you know, whoever you believe in. But whatever it is, it could even be the relationship you have with yourself. Of you not allowing yourself to be you? Of you constantly maybe criticising yourself, right? But where did those criticisms come from, right? Because we're not born with those. We are not born to naturally criticize ourselves. We are born to love ourselves. So the criticisms generally come from outside of us as we grow through our lives. So where is that coming from? What is it that is stopping you from being the master of your life, Sagittarius? feel like this is the message ultimately become the master of your life because this is what you were born to do and this is what you deserve holy mackerel seriously anyway moving on moving on we haven't finished yet okay I'm hoping I remember that to title this video that at the end of it because that's powerful, man. Anyway, we have grief here. The feeling of loss can be debilitating, but sorrow becomes part of our healing experience. What you have far outweighs what you lost. At least you had it for a time. It's kind of like having, you know, if, it, if let's say, let's just relate this to a relationship, okay? A romantic relationship, but obviously apply it to your life however it fits, okay? But I think the easiest way to delve into it is this way. So let's say you had a loving relationship with someone. And once upon a time it flourished and it was beautiful and, you know, it was at its peak. And then it turned into this. And it wasn't so good anymore. Right? 
often what we're grieving is what was, which actually no longer exists. And the fact of the matter, Sagittarius, is that here, both of you were different people. You are no longer those people anymore. Things have changed. There's been garbage collected along the way by both of you, even together. Insults have been hurled at one another. Fights have been had. Damage has been done. Authentic selves have disappeared, potentially on both parts. Sometimes the best way to love someone, and I'm not telling you what to do here, it's not up to me to decide that. You are in control of your life and it is purely and only your decision to make. Sometimes the best way to love someone is from a distance. At least for a while anyway, you know. And, you know, part of that healing is appreciation and gratitude for what you did have and the fact that you did have it at all. For some of you, this could even be that you've lost someone, you know, someone that you've, you love has passed over. But I suppose, again, it's being honest with yourself about the true relationship that was had, right? Okay, so two cards for grief. for to Sagittarius here, please. I still want to give you a big hug. And I'm really sorry. I like, I, I mean, I know that doesn't help. And I know it's, you know, just words. But I really actually, I can feel the heartache. And, and I'm, I really do have a lot of empathy for you and I'm, I feel sad for you that this has happened for you so yeah and I you know that might not count for anything but I'm sending you healing okay as I'm going through this reading But I also see the beauty of who you are here, Sagittarius, and I see the authenticity, you know, and I see that you have the ability here to have start over and, and um, you know, with a clean slate and allow this master within to be revealed and come out and express yourself in a way that is true for you. Yeah, like this, right? Having this new vision for yourself and getting excited about that. You're allowed to get excited. You don't have to stay in the grief. You don't have to stay in the sadness because, you know, it's about you doing yourself a service and honouring the being that you are by stepping out and creating this new vision and becoming the master that you truly are. Okay, two cards for grief for Sagittarius, please. Yeah. Alrighty. <clears throat> Get these ones ready to rock and roll. Hope. This is the light that you are heading towards here, Sagittarius. This surrounding it is all this debris here. That is this whirlwind of this change. And it is a whirlwind. You know, change is, even if it's wanted and welcome, it's not always easy. It's a massive adjustment. You know, be honest with yourself about that. And go, you know what? This freaking sucks. You know, you may not have even wanted it. So just be honest about that. Okay, it may suck, 100%. But try and keep your eye on the vision. Try and keep your eye on that. See that like this, right? This is what you're heading towards here, this new vision. And at the moment, it may not be clear even of what that is. 
but you get to create that. And that's the exciting thing, right? You get to shine, okay? You get to awaken to the truth of who you are, which is this here, Sagittarius. This is who you are, the master of your life. Hallelujah. Hope. Two cards for hope. One more card for hope, please, for Sagittarius. <clears throat> it's upside down, okay. Okay, okay. We're flying everywhere now. Let me pick this up. Okay, Sagittarius. Hope. Um, for some of you, this, this change has already occurred or it's in the process of occurring, okay? It could be something that you weren't expecting. It could be something that you actually um, initiated. Okay, either way, it's still, it's, you know, the thunderbolt. It shows the velocity of what has actually happened here and the impact that it's had. Okay, there's no denying that. Okay, um, and things may seem quite bleak for you right now. Okay, um, I think, again, is holding on to this hope that you will be able to colour your world again. And you'll be able to colour it the way that you want it to, okay? It's remembering, you know, the connection that you have, right? Um, this connection which is potentially going to see you through the connection with your friends, the connection with the people who really love you, who have your back. But most of all, the connection with the truth of who you are here, okay? Connection with the source, which is ultimately you. Very important thing to remember here because this is a new creation. This is a turning point, a pivotal turning point in your life that um, although it's incredibly uncomfortable and um, heavy, I think understanding that where you're heading and having this vision is what will get you through. Okay. We also have Celestial Teacher here. And I feel as though it wouldn't hurt you to seek out somebody who is going to help guide you along this journey just for the first part. You know, the journey is still yours to be had, but just someone to be a bit of a guide for you in a sense to help you with this connection. Okay, and I'm talking about the connection to yourself to help you connect and align into your presence here, Sagittarius, because this is what is important and this is what is necessary and potentially this is why this change has come about because it is time now for you to meet you. Celestial Teacher. Two cards for this celestial teacher, please. Yep. This is what I'm talking about. You meeting you. You know, it's sort of like, I guess the best way I can describe it is your human self meeting um, your, your soul. Meeting your soul, right? Meeting the part of you that is aligned, the part of you that is balanced, okay? Um, bringing all the elements into your life to center yourself, to align yourself, okay? To merge with yourself, okay? And a celestial teacher will be able to guide you to do that, okay? I feel like this is quite a, um, when we've got awakened here, we've got awakened Okay, and this is awakening to a part of yourself that exists well and truly. Where is it? That is this. Okay. It may see, seem unfathomable to you right now, but it is there. Okay. And so, yeah. I guess... Um, the important thing here, Sagittarius, right now is to maybe seek this guide out, 
or even connect with your guides to help you. But for some of you, this is someone on earth who is going to be able to able to just guide you along this, this part of this journey here as you begin to awaken to the truth of who you are. Okay, so as you do that, be gentle with yourself, be loving to yourself, and always, always have your back. Okay, Sagittarius, I'll be thinking of you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.